we have a serious crisis in this country in the sense that we do not have our Silicon Valleys or, or incubation centers. The institution is so big and it's so expensive to try a new thing, but if you had an incubation center in one of these uh, good universities, you go try an idea, it's lesser costs, and then if you can change it, then you now take it and adopt it to an institution. But now because we do not have such facilities in this country, you really have to, you know, it's like trying to experiment something with a ship in the high seas. It could be, it's extremely expensive and it can go wrong. Big institutions will die, not because they were not intending to move, but because we do not have an, uh, an incubation of ideas where you can do this and then, you know, bring it up. And uh, it's very painful when you say that you could try this, but by the time it fails, two billion shillings is gone. We could have done it better with much less in, in a certain, in a controlled environment than adapted to that. And I, I feel that when I look at the challenge of uh, big media houses trying to try a new idea, it is... So are you going to recall back the people you fired if it fails or, or you buy a new wonderful printing press for 10 million then suddenly people are not interested. So what do we do about it now? And nobody can buy it. Or you, you buy a big TV like we do a big TV at home and everybody goes to their phone. <clears throat> so what do you do now? Because you know the, the bigger the TVs have come, everybody at home stays in their room and watches on their phone. We need core regulation and creative regulation which goes ahead in the form of blueprints we have this blueprint and vision and all that, then the regulation becomes a little part of the innovation. Innovation can run, but the principle of regulation is from time to time we'll come together and set joint rules of engagement.